This is the most effective way to build your own trading system. As you guys know by now, in my opinion, the most effective way to trade is trade based off of ranges. In today's video, I will be explaining to you guys why ranges are the most effective way, in my opinion, to trade. We are also going to discuss based off of examples, how we can trade these ranges, what triggers do we need and when do we execute our trades. And also guys, we will also be discussing how we can manage these trades. Where is our invalidation? Where are our targets? How how do we take profit and when do we move our stop loss these are all topics that we are going to discuss in today's video so make sure to enjoy leave a like subscribe and let's dive into the chart the first reason why ranges are so important to understand and so important to use for your trading system is to figure out why we should trade ranges and the first reason why is that simply when we have a look at the chart over here for example for bitcoin is that we can see that ranges are part of the chart for about 90 percent of the time you have to realize that 90 percent of the time price of bitcoin is trading inside ranges we can constantly identify these different ranges onto the chart over here and we can see that the price of bitcoin is basically 90 percent maybe even 95 percent of the time range bound and only about 10 maybe even five percent of the time price of bitcoin is trending either towards the upside or downside now as a trader it is our job to make the most amount of profits possible and if we can choose whether we should trade 90 percent of the time in profitable circumstances according to our system or if we should wait for the 10 percent of the time or maybe even the five percent of the time to get profitable trades based of our system because we are waiting for these trends towards the upside or towards the downside we need a whole lot of patience to be to be profitable so instead you have to figure out what is the price of bitcoin altcoins commodities forex basically always doing it is basically always trading inside of a range and if we can identify these ranges we can identify our poy if we can identify our poy we know where we can look to execute trades. If we can execute trades based off our system inside of these ranges where we are trading around 90% of the time, it means that we can make profit. And if we are constantly waiting for trends to get started, we are basically wasting time in which we could have used the time to make a lot of profits to trade these ranges. Now, if these ranges break out and we are positioned inside of this range, instead of positioning ourselves once the trend is starting, we are still going to make profit regardless if the price of Bitcoin altcoins commodities or forex start trending why because we make sure that we position ourselves inside of these ranges keep moving back and profit along the way up or along the way down but more importantly is to focus on these ranges and trade these ranges until they break besides the fact that the price is ranging for about 90 percent of the time also trading ranges leaves very little room for error and it provides us with very very clear pois why because we know that if price is trading around the range high we never ever blindly want to to look for longs because instead we expect the price to always continue ranging and that we trade the range until it breaks so instead of looking for longs around the range high we know that if we identify our range and in a little bit i will explain to you guys how we can identify this range if we have identified this range then we wait for the price to trade near the range highs to look for shorts and then we wait for the price to trade near the range lows to look for longs now obviously it is not as simple as simply putting your entry at the top of the range stop loss slightly above the range and then target the range low if this would have been the case it would have been way too easy to make insane amounts of profits so instead what we do is that we always want to trade deviations below the range low or deviations above the range high now why is that the case because while price is ranging there's always a lot of liquidity building up above the range high or below the range low we know that smart money the bigger place inside of this market they need that liquidity to fill their own orders before they can ever reverse the price or before they can even start a potential trend or downtrend now in this case we can see that price pushes below the range this is where they accumulate their orders this is the area where you want to start looking for longs based off price section market structure and liquidity if you get your triggers you can execute your trade on the higher low anticipate the deviation to be confirmed and once the deviation is confirmed that you are positioned inside of your long always when you trade ranges have extremely clean target and an extremely clean invalidation your targets are always the mid range over here and the range high if you have looked for longs near the range low your invalidation always beneath the lowest point of the deviation below the range low or beneath the highest point of the deviation above the range high which means that there is no room for error with your stop loss there's not a circumstance where you can say okay but instead jip i'm going to use this low instead of this low over here because i want to use a tighter stop loss no don't be fucking stupid don't use a tighter low for your stop loss don't be greedy it leaves so little room for error that you know that you cannot make mistakes that you cannot fuck this up it is always the lowest 
lowest point of the deviation below the range low or the highest point above the deviation of the range high. Now, if this is your system and you still deviate from your system, you're never ever going to make it. And instead, by trading these ranges, you get super clean POIs, right? You get super clean targets and you always have a super clean invalidation. And we know that we don't want to trade these perfect retests. No, we always want to wait for a deviation below the range low or a deviation above the range high because this leaves no room for error with your stop loss. This leaves no room for error with your entries. And this also leaves no room for error with your targets because they are always on the opposite side of the range. Now, the next point that I want to discuss is how to identify these ranges because this is something that many of you guys still don't understand. And this is something that I want to explain to you guys on the charts right now. When price is ranging, something that we always need is three different pivots, right? So that means that either we need one, two pivots at the top and one pivot at the bottom, or that we need two pivots at the bottom and one pivot at the top, right? Which can be something like this. So that means if you have two pivots at the bottom and one at the top, you can identify your range like this. If you have two pivots at the top and one pivot at the bottom, you can identify your range like this. These two pivots, they need to touch the exact same price or almost the exact same price, right? Otherwise, these two pivots are not valid. Obviously, you have to realize that the more pivots that you have, the more pivots that you find for your range, the higher the probability of this range is. Now, once you've identified the range itself, you know that you need to identify where the liquidity is resting. Is there more liquidity resting above the range or below the range? You always wait for the liquidity pool to get mitigated, right? Instead of trading the breakout, which is what retail traders are always doing, we know that ranges are occurring 90% of the time and that there's always a higher probability of price failing to break out and confirming the deviation because price is ranging 90% of the time, then actually breaking out towards the upside and pumping it higher. So instead of looking for longs upon the breakout towards the upside, we start looking for shorts up on the right confirmations and trade it back towards the downside. And if we get the deviation below, we never ever start shorting over here up on the breakdown because this is where the retail traders are getting bearish and start shorting, targeting lower prices. No, instead we know that these potential breakdowns have a higher probability of failing. Why do they have a higher probability of failing? Think in a logical manner, guys. Because price is ranging 90% of the time, which basically means that 9 out of 10 breakouts or 9 out of 10 fake outs, I should say, right? Or breakdowns to the downside, I mean, they, they are fake out 9 out of 10 times because 90% of the time, the price continues to range. And maybe that one time you fail to catch that breakout or you fail to catch that breakdown. And it is not a problem at all because if price is truly bearish over here, right? It's not going to offer you the confirmation of a deviation if price is truly bearish because we always wait for triggers. We don't blindly start longing a push below the range low. I don't blindly start longing it over here without confirmation, right? Because where's my invalidation? Where should I place my stop loss? No, instead, we wait for price section to confirm the deviation with, for example, local liquidity sweep and a reclaim of the range low in confluence with a break of structure back towards the upside. Now, this leaves zero room for error because I have my invalidation, I have my target, I have my second target, and I leave a 25% move back in case we do get a breakout. Play the higher low, execute your trade right over here with a long position, clean invalidation, and a clean target. Now, if a price is then going to break break out over here and we always leave a 25% moon back for potential higher targets. So I'm really trying to get into your head over here and figure out that the price is ranging 90% of the time. And instead of constantly trying to catch these trends towards the upside or towards the downside, instead you should be focusing on identifying your range, identifying the liquidity above or below the range, identifying potential deviations in confluence with sentiment. And instead of trying to catch the breakouts and breakdowns, always try to catch the deviations because the deviations leave no room for error up on the right confirmation we know that nine out of ten breakout they fail and instead the price should always continue to range and we should always continue to trade the range until it breaks